Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Lady Legend, and in today's video, we are gonna talk all about hunting pressure. We're gonna talk about how hunting pressure helps you find your kills, how it affects your game, everything you need to know about hunting pressure. We're gonna start by taking down this level three muley, maybe. <laughs> and down he goes. Now there we are, this purple blotch here is hunting pressure. But before we head into it guys, if you do enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button. If you'd like to join us for more daily Call of the Wild content, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the notify bell. We're gonna head right into it. So every time you do kill any animal in this game, you will get hunting pressure. And that's what that purple blotch is right here. Now, when you put your waypoint right in the middle of your hunting pressure, it's not going to necessarily bring you to where your animal has died. What it is going to do is bring you to where you shot your animal and you can track your animal from that spot. Now, if you do drop your animal like I did here, there isn't any tracking to be done. Ooh, that was a neck shot. So right here, this is single tier hunting pressure. I've only taken one animal down. That is the amount of pressure that you're gonna get from one kill. Now let's shoot something and not drop it. Now these are a bunch of female elk. It doesn't really matter what we take. So you know what? I'm gonna shoot this female. You can use the 300 for elk. I'm just gonna use the M1 here and it should run away just to show you. In fact, I'm not gonna, not gonna do a vital shot. Let's do a shoot it in the <laughs> hindquarters. Now it is the initial shot that will dictate where your hunting pressure is, even if you're able to get other shots. Even if you are able to get another shot or further shots into your target, the hunting pressure is gonna show up only where the initial hit took place. Now you'll watch here. And the other thing it is a great indicator of is whether or not your animal has actually died. Okay, so now he is down, but before he had not died. So if you shoot something, you pull open your map and you don't see hunting pressure, that animal is still running around on your map. But the main purpose is to help you find that animal. Now, obviously you saw him run off. He's not gonna be in the center there, but that is where we are going to find the initial blood splatter so that we can track it down. Now, the reason I'm hunting in Silver Ridge Peaks for this video is because there are so many animals around. It's just gonna make life easy for us. All right, so basically I try to put my waypoint right in the middle of the hunting pressure and I should find blood. Now, tracking is not working perfectly right now, so you might want to take your dog with you. There's blood, all right, here we have blood. All right, so let's track. And a very helpful thing to help you track is pulling out your hunter mate. It will give you a cone and you just want to follow the opening of the cone and it will definitely help you find your kill. Okay. So that was not a vital shot, that was deliberate. And as you can see, right in the middle of the hunting pressure is where your initial blood splatter is and then you will track your animal from that. So without hunting pressure, we would have a really hard time finding animals, especially when you're taking down more than one at a time. Okay, so now I am going to try to take two animals down. I'd love to show you guys double hunting pressure. Let's try for two, let's go. So let's look at the map first. I do have a little bit of hunting pressure here, but the new hunting pressure should end up right over here. It will overlap just a little bit. I think we got two. Yes, we did. Okay, so now you'll see this is quite a lot darker. That is double tier hunting pressure. Now the game only allows us to have three tiers worth of hunting pressure. When you kill your fourth animal, that will kill any zones in that hunting pressure located within that purple area. They will just be deleted. And what will happen is that zone will end up coming back usually in the area, but will end up coming back somewhere else. It will not come back in the exact same spot. Now there are workarounds for this and I am gonna share that with you as well. So one, and two, and that was a little bit high, but that's all right. Okay, so we have a few turkeys here. I would love to show you 
Three tier hunting pressure. Let's try that. All right, here we go. All right, we got three. And you can see as they die, it starts to get darker. So that is three tier hunting pressure. That is the most hunting pressure that you can have before the zone disappears. And we have one male and one female. All right, three turkeys. All right, so now I'm gonna show you what happens when you take four animals down without a hunting structure. So as you can see there, guys, we do still have the zone. It is still intact. So when the hunting pressure disappears, you will still have your zone. Now, if you're wondering, how do you get hunting pressure to disappear? There is a very simple answer. The more hunting pressure you create somewhere else, the faster your hunting pressure in other areas will vanish. So as I took these three shots, did these three kills, this hunting pressure starts to become less and less. And as I create more and more hunting pressure in other areas, this will eventually disappear. So unless you have a brand new map, you will always have hunting pressure somewhere on your map. Alrighty guys, so right now we have just discovered a zone for these Merriam turkeys drinking. So we have the opportunity and I'm going to take down four of these. That is gonna be my goal. And I want to show you how it affects the zone. We do have a light brown in there. I think this male is diamond potential. All right, here we go. All right, I think we have four. I'll take one more. Now let's look. As they die, you will see the zone vanish. Tell me I killed more than three. I did, okay. As you can see here, now the zone has vanished. So killing more than three will delete any zones that are located within this hunting pressure. So that is four tier hunting pressure. Actually might even be five. And the more you kill, the brighter that purple blotch will get. And of course, the more hunting pressure you put in one area, it is going to make other hunting pressure disappear that much faster. And as you can see, we did have hunting pressure here and it is now gone. So that is four tier hunting pressure. Now that is how hunting pressure works from when you are on the ground. However, there is a workaround. Whenever you shoot any animal from any hunting structure, be it a tripod, a tree stand, a hunting structure in game, doesn't matter what it is, you are then able to harvest 15 animals and it's the 16th that will actually kill your zone. So. Hunting from a hunting structure is awesome for protecting your zones. And that is why when we are doing any kind of grind, like the Great One grind, we do do it from a tripod in order to protect the zones and to make the hunting pressure disappear that much faster. Now, another important thing to note is that when you have a fair bit of hunting pressure, but you still do have the zone intact, often trophy, animals will not come into that zone until the pressure is gone so sometimes you have to go and deliberately kill other animals in other areas to get that hunting pressure to vanish in order for your trophy animal to come back to its zone so that is an important tip for trophy hunting which i love to do all right here is our light brown just a female but i think they are really pretty but we do have one of those in the lodge, so I'm not gonna worry about it. 4.4. 4.6 is diamond, so he is not gonna make it, but that's all right. So what we're gonna do now is we are gonna use a hunting structure to show you how much of a difference it makes in protecting your zones. And that guy's a four. So actually now we are in Rancho and this is part of my great one grind we are going to take some white tail down now from a tripod and i'm going to show you how shooting animals out of a hunting structure why it is such a good idea now i'm actually going to call these guys out to see exactly what we have in here so tripods and tree stands cost 16,000 in-game cash they are quite expensive 
but they are very, very worth it, and they are very necessary, especially when you're doing a grind of any kind, because when you kill those zones off, it is a big, ooh, there's a nice one, it is a big pain and a lot of time and effort to find them again, and you don't want to be blowing your zones out. Now I have a couple small ones here. Alright, and three are down. Now that is hunting pressure from three from a tripod. So you can actually kill 15 animals from any hunting structure and your zone will not disappear. Now when I say disappear, I mean even this zone will vanish if I were to kill four without hunting structure or 16 from in a hunting structure. It will delete all of the zones within the hunting pressure itself. So just hunting from a hunting structure guarantees that you do not have to worry about your zones. And the other thing is your hunting pressure will disappear way faster when you're using a hunting structure because you have so much less that has to be lifted. So it does disappear way faster. Now I did deliberately blow out a zone here. I killed four does from the ground. If I were to do that from a hunting structure, my zone would have been just fine, but I did deliberately delete that zone because it was no longer producing bucks for me. Now the other way to get reduced hunting pressure is by using any bow in the game. Any bow in Call of the Wild will give you the same reduced hunting pressure as if you were hunting from a any hunting structure. Okay, here we go. So here's our doe. So you get the same reduced hunting pressure when you use the bow as if you were using a hunting structure. So that is a huge benefit to using any bow in the game. They will all give you reduced hunting pressure. Now just a very quick tip guys, if you have an animal on the ground, like we do right there, sometimes when you don't pick your animal up before changing the time, it can vanish. So I do recommend picking up your kills before you do do a time change. Doesn't always happen, but it can. And it just did, our doe is gone. You see that? It vanished. Now one last thing I'd like to mention guys is if you shoot an animal with a really poor shot and that animal does not end up dying, he walks around on the map wounded. If you're able to put a second shot into that animal in a different location, that hunting pressure is gonna show up in the spot where you took the very first shot, not the second shot. So say I were to shoot this guy and he were to survive and walk around and then I find him over, say over here at 25%, put another shot into him and he drops. I'm not gonna have hunting pressure in this spot. I'm going to find it in the initial spot and I will have to track him. So the hunting pressure always ends up where the very first shot was taken. So that is really important to know. So hunting structures are amazing for reducing Hunting pressure. Hunting pressure is absolutely vital for helping you to find your kill. Need zones are super important in the game. What they do is they help us to be able to find our kills or be able to track them down. Using a hunting structure is really important in protecting your need zones so they can be very, very useful and you will get reduced hunting pressure when you use any bow in the game. So I really hope that helps you guys understand hunting pressure a little bit better and help you enjoy the game even more. But that is gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. If you did enjoy the video, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing, smash that like button. And if you'd like to join us for more daily Call of the Wild content, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the notify bell and we will see you guys in the next one. I swear I'd never find anything if it weren't for hunting pressure. <laughs> I would never find my kills, it would be terrible. Take care, guys. See you in the next one.